Hi guys, welcome to yet another tutorial. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to build an Excel program for the field density test. So I'm going to cover how to get the mass of sand in hole and cone, the mass of sand in hole, the volume of hole, bulk density of wet soil and dry soil, and also the relative compaction. On this example, we have this given data, the depth of hole, the mass of wet soil from hole, initial mass of sand, final mass of sand, mass of sand in coal plus plate, unit weight of sand, moisture content, and the maximum lab density. Here, we are going to use the field density test by sand replacement method. So here, these are the given data, the ones in yellow, and the green ones, the data that we need to solve. So we have this formula. First, let's get the value for the mass of sand in hole and cone. So that's just initial initial mass minus final mass. So these are the values that we need to subtract in order to get the mass of sand in hole plus cone. So entering this formula, got the answer of. 5,403. Now, for the mass of sand in hole, that's just mass of sand in hole plus cone minus the mass of sand in cone plus plate. So, these are the ones that we are going to subtract. So, in this formula, entering this one, got the answer of 3,662. Now, for the volume of hole, that's mass of sand in hole divided by the unit weight of sand. So this, the value here, divide that by the unit weight of sand. So entering this gives us the answer of 2,548.635. Now for the bulk density of wet soil, that's just mass of wet soil from hole divided by the volume of hole. So for the mass of wet soil from hole, so this is what we are going to use. Divide this by the volume of hole, which is this one. So entering this formula, got the answer of 2.374. Now for the bulk density of dry soil. So here's the formula, that's bulk density of wet soil over 100 plus the moisture content times 100 so this is the formula divide this by 100 plus the moisture content which is 6 don't forget to divide that by 100 then times 100 so entering this formula i got the answer of 2.373 and lastly, for the relative compaction, that's just bulk density of dry soil over maximum lab density times 100. So this one, divide this by the maximum lab density, which is 2.28, then multiply that by 100. So that gives us 104.064. So just keep in mind here that the only ones that we need to solve are the ones in green colored cell. So the, the rest, the yellow cells are just the given. For the final answer, so these are the final answer. So if you change the values here, example 2.56, the answer will automatically change. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.